Hey everyone and welcome to the third devlog video for Hex and Torches, my upcoming OSR app. In this one we're going to be talking about the rule set that I chose, which is Old School Essentials. And the reason I picked this one is, first the book, if you read that, that book is just beautiful, the layout, everything is so clear and well explained that it just makes you want to play. And then this rule set is compatible with the old school adventures, the ones that came out decades ago. Uh, so you have this backlog of adventures that you can play with it. And then there's also a lot of new adventures coming out for OSC. Uh, and there's even a new edition coming out next year. So I think this is a really good fit for the app. Uh, all that being said, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, that really helps me out making these videos. Uh, also leave a like to the video. And finally, if you want to try out uh, this app, I uploaded it yesterday to my Patreon, uh, the first alpha build of Hex and Torches, and you can get it there. I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, let's jump right in. The first thing you'll notice is this new uh, panel down here. It's the, I call it the character panel, and I want it to be very compact so we have more space on the screen. Uh, here's where you will see all your character stats. Uh, it's kind of like the character sheet, but more, more compact. So first we have our abilities. For the character, the usual six, strength, intelligence, and so on. And then we have the saving throws, which are from old school essentials and old DD. Uh, you have, of course, your HP, and you have the equipment in your for your character, the both hands, the helmet, and the armor. Uh, if you press on any of these, for example, let's press on strength, you get a pop-up where you can roll. Okay, so if you press roll to check, you see the roll happens here on the event log. That's where you will see all the results from the character sheet. Um, you, the same happens with the saving throw. And if you press on the weapons, you will see the attack pop up or, or the menu show up. Uh, I will show that later in the video. Same goes for armor, and this one does a defend roll, which, which, makes, it, which, which makes defending or the roll when you're uh, facing an enemy to be player facing. That's something I wanted to do. Okay, so uh, before we show you the monsters, let's see more characters, if you press here, you see that you can have uh, multiple characters, of course, and let's create a new one here very quickly. Uh, let's just say the name is uh, Lysa. And for now, uh, while there are other classes, the one that works in this prototype version, remember that I'm, I'm only getting started in developing, so what you see right here is uh, the bare bones version of what this is going to be. So for now, fire is the, the real only choice because I don't have spells yet and I don't have the skills for the for the thief class. So you get this uh, random roll and you can reroll a couple times until you get one that you want. Let's say I will stick with this one. So we create, we create it, and you see that here on the on the panel it switches to the character Lisa. If you press here, you can and, and then you can you can press on any on here on the characters and you switch between the main character or the one that you're acting as. You can also drag the token here into the map. And if you press on the token in the map, it will switch the character that is currently in the compact panel. I do plan on adding uh, like the portrait of the characters here later of your entire party so you can switch easier or you can see the HP and so on. Okay, so let's see our character Lysa here. Uh, she doesn't have any weapons. If you want to add weapons, you press here on the inventory button and this opens the party inventory screen. You can see here that we have our first character and you can trade or, or swap uh, items between them if that's what you want. And if you press on this icon here, it opens the compendium or the repository of all the items that are in, in the game. For now, uh, it's only a few and you can even see some placeholder, placeholder images, but they will be more added as time goes on, as I develop this further. So let's say we want, we want to kit out uh, our fighter Lisa with some weapons. Uh, we could add a shield. Uh, let's give her some armor as well. Right, a helmet. And let's say we give her a sword. As you can see, it all gets reflected down here. You can also give her a two-handed weapon like this halberd here. Or pole arm, sorry. And you see that it's also reflected on the character panel. That it shows two weapons, but it's the same weapon in both hands. Okay, so let's leave it like that. And to show you the combat, I'm going to move over to, to a dungeon where we are going to put some, some monsters here. Okay, 
let's close this. Uh, I'm going to remove these ones and add some new ones so you see how that works. And to do that, you have this new panel here, the monster panel, where we have monsters from the old school essentials, the classic monster manual that it has. It doesn't have all of them, it only has a few, because remember this is a prototype. I will be adding all, all of the monsters there that are open, that use the open license, that I can add them. And you can also add your own, I will show that later how, how that works. Okay, so example, let's say that we drop this Acolyte here, and let's also drop a Bandit, okay? And I'm going to drop a higher level monster, let's say this Basilisk here to show you something, okay? Once they're in the map, if you press on the token, you can you open this this uh, quick panel for the assets for the sorry for the statistics of the monster. Uh, if you want to see the whole thing, you can press here more info, and it will open the full panel where you will see the description and you see the special abilities. Okay, and here you have uh, the the HP, uh, morale, and so on, the XP that will be awarded if you defeat this this monster, the saving throws, and here you have the attack button. So if we press here on attack. Uh, the way it works now here, you set the AC of the opponent, in this case it would be our characters, which is 15, you can see that down here. So we set 15, and then the, the damage it would do if the attack hits, and uh, you can see right here that the, it's 1d6 for this monster, so you add the d6 dice here, you can add anything you want. I wanted to, I made it this way so you have more, more freedom, or some monsters have various abilities, so you have to pick which one. So once you press an attack, the result is shown here on the event log. This is where you will see all your results. And as you can see, uh, the attacking enemy, we are attacking enemy with 15 AC, which is us, and we roll a 16. Uh, plus zero because the attack bonus for this monster was zero. Uh, we hit and the damage for on the D6 is just one. So we would apply here, we press on HP and change minus one. And so our character takes one damage. Uh, sorry, I'm not doing, okay, so I drop the token here, and the character takes one damage. Um, and by the way, if any of you is wondering, uh, Old School Essentials has both the Ascending AC and Thaco or Thac Zero for the attack bonuses. Right now, what you're seeing is the more modern uh, take on that, which is Ascending AC and attack bonus. But in, in the background, in the code, uh, there is the, 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 old, the old school way to show these this stats is coded in. So I will add a button that lets you toggle between, between them both. So, so you either see the, the old school time like TAC O and AC descending, or the more modern one, which is AC ascending and attack bonus. And that's the one that's natural to me. That's why I'm using that one first. But you will be able to switch between them both later on. Okay, uh, then on a character sheet, uh, as I mentioned, if you press on the weapon, you get this attack uh, pop-up menu, where again, you can set, for example, the AC of the Acola is 17. So we set it to 17, and then we press attack, and it was a hit, uh, we roll 19, plus the three from our strength. So that's 22 versus an AC of 17, and we did four damage, okay? Uh, again, we will press HP here on the Acolyte, and the change will be minus four. And here you see the HP goes down to three, and that's how you would play. Uh, in, I, I might do some automations in the future. In the future, so it's you just uh, like drag, drag your token over the enemy, and that that makes the attack uh, automatic or something like that. But for now, I want to stick with this manual manual way of doing it. Uh, I feel it's the one that's closer to to playing with the physical game, and I think that for the first versions, it's great to have only this option so I can catch any errors. But I do plan on adding automations. It will be optional, of course. You can play this way, or you can play uh, having it more automated for you. And like I mentioned before, you can add your own monsters. So if we go to the monster panel, you press your new monster, and then if you open the the monster book or the or the rule book for old school essentials, uh, you can. The, all, all you have to do is you copy the whole stat block for the monster. Ctrl C and then you paste it here in the app and the app will parse the text and will extract the appropriate statistics to create a monster. So here we say the monster and you will see it here at the bottom and then you can just drag it into the map and here you will see the monster ready. So you can do that with any with, with all the old school essential books. You can just copy and paste the stat block for the monster and the app will, will recognize that. And one last thing I want to show you uh, here on your character panel, 
if you press on defend, you get uh, a player facing roll for getting attacked by a monster. Uh, this is not something in the in, in the OC rules. This is something actually I think from Nave, uh, or, or that's the first place where I see that where I saw that myself in Nave. Uh, what it means is instead of rolling as the monster, which usually is the GM who does that, you're rolling your own character to defend. So uh, let's say that we have this bandit here, okay? Because we're gonna need his stats. So we press defend and we are going to be using the enemy attack bonus which in this case is zero so we say that zero if it was another monster for example the the basilisk has plus six so you set you would set here plus six and then the, the damage it says that it, it does uh, 1d10 so you would say 1d10 and it's probably gonna get us killed so uh, and here you see the where the the ac stats come from right uh, uh, this character has doesn't have enough dexterity so it's plus zero we get 15 for the armor, and since we have a shield, we, we get a plus one. Okay, so we hit defend, and here on the event log, you will see that uh, the creature missed, and because it, it rolled eight, and plus the six of uh, 14, and our AC 16. So that's good for us. The attack missed, uh, but that, that's how you would play your attack and defend, or you roll for the monster, that's also valid. You can do that. Um, and now you, you also can see the movement rate for your character here or for the or for the monsters here so if you if you drag your token around you can see how how, how much distance you would cover so you can use that uh, while you're playing uh, like I mentioned at the start of the video you can get the you can get the this version that I'm using here to show you you can get that version on my patreon uh, it's the first alpha I'm calling it alpha 0.1 and it's a very early version. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend you use it to play an actual campaign with it because it's likely that I'm going to be making uh, breaking changes that are not going to be compatible with old saves. But you can use it. Uh, you can play around and see what, what I've been doing in, with, with this app. And if you have any suggestions or ideas or something that you think uh, should be done differently, you can let me know and I will keep that in mind. So I think I think that's enough for this video. Thank you for watching. Do remember to subscribe to the channel because it really helps a lot. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye.